Welcome back to NatFL. Here is what going on in Miami today. Miami is going to trade number 3 pick to Carolina Panther, in exchange for number 1 pick in 2022 draft. Dolphins GM Chris Greer takes an Alabama Pro Day in person. Tua Tungavailoa and Jakeem Grant training together late afternoon. Dolphins resign linebacker Alandon Roberts. Support me by clicking subscribe button. Miami is going to trade number 3 pick to Carolina Panther, in exchange for number 1 pick in 2022 draft. The idea of quarterbacks being taken with each of the first four picks in the 2021 NFL draft sounds crazy, but it requires little maneuvering. It is realistic to suggest that the Jets, Jaguars and Falcons could all take quarterbacks without making any trades. If Miami trades out of its pick at number 3 overall, then it is likely in connection with another team moving up to take a signal caller. It may only require one trade for quarterbacks to be taken with each of the first four picks. According to NFL Mock Draft Database, which aggregates drafts from various media sites, 25.8% of mock drafts have the Panthers selecting Justin Fields in April's draft. ESPN latest mock draft had the Panthers trading their number 8 pick, their number 39 pick in the second round and their 2022 first round pick with the Miami Dolphins, Miami Dolphins number 3 pick to get QB Justin Fields. With Miami Dolphins, Miami moves back, acquires some additional draft picks and selects a speedy wide receiver who has a history with Tua Tungavailoa. That would be Jalen Waddell at number 8 pick. GM Chris Greer takes an Alabama Pro Day in person. Yesterday served as one of the more monumental days of the 2021 NFL draft process. No, it wasn't the NFL Combine. It wasn't the Senior Bowl. But it may very well have been the next best thing. Yesterday was the pro day for the Alabama Crimson Tide program. And Alabama, as they usually are, is absolutely loaded with NFL draft prospects in 2020. QB Mac Jones, RB Najee Harris, WR's Jalen Waddell and Devonta Smith, linemen such as Alex Leatherwood, Deontay Brown and Landon Dickerson, and that is just on the offensive side of the football. And the vast majority of those names? Expected to be top 50 selections when it is all said and done. And for the Miami Dolphins, knowing this group intimately is an important obligation. Because the Dolphins, as things currently stand, own four of the first top 50 picks, meaning they'll have plenty of chances to draft Alabama players. General Manager Chris Greer seemed to get the memo, he was reportedly in Tuscaloosa amid a sea of general managers from across the league, eight in total, who were reported to be there in person. Given the fruits of Miami's 2020 efforts with drafting Alabama players and the pressure the Dolphins face to build a strong supporting cast around QB Tua Tungavailoa, perhaps a repeat of last year's draft class is in order. Remember, the Dolphins drafted Tungavailoa with their first pick and nose tackle Raekwon Davis with their final pick in the second round. Davis obliged by playing as one of the more physically dominant defenders in the Dolphins' front seven down the stretch. Many of Miami's ideal targets from Alabama, such as Jalen Waddell, Najee Harris and Devonta Smith, did not partake in any of the testing or on-field activities. But the tape on these three first-round candidates speaks for itself. Who else may have caught Greer's eye is where the real intrigue comes into play. But one thing amid the questions that we do know is that Greer will have no show shortage of former Crimson Tide players to choose from next month when the Dolphins are on the clock. Tua Tungavailoa and Jakeem Grant training together late afternoon. The off-season in South Florida offers plenty of opportunities to get outside and sweat. There's no need to worry about winter months for any Miami Dolphins players who choose to stick around for their off-season work, and we're seeing flashes of what the Dolphins' offensive cornerstone, Tua Tungavailoa, is up to on social media these past few weeks. But the latest glimpse of Tungavailoa's training for year two in the NFL comes courtesy of Miami Dolphins receiver Jakeem Grant, who is training with Tungavailoa and working on timing with Miami's now uncontested starting quarterback. Grant posted a highlight video on his Instagram page that offers a behind-the-scenes look at how Tungavailoa and Grant are working together to be the best version of a pairing they can be in 2021. Whether or not Grant will remain a part of the Dolphins' plans in 2021 is up for some debate. Miami recently inked speedy receiver Will Fuller to a one-year contract to presumably assume many of Grant's reps as the Dolphins' speed threat. And the Dolphins are, on the whole, facing a numbers problem at the wide receiver position. 
There are plenty of returning players scheduled to be back next season, but the Dolphins have also signed Fuller and Robert Foster to contracts and resigned Mac Hollins yesterday. Perhaps the Dolphins are waiting things out until they can find a quality trade value for one of their mid-level receivers. Or maybe the team is willing to carry this slew of receivers into training camp and let the competition sort things out. If that is indeed the case, one would have to assume that this extra time Grant is currently putting in with Tunga Vailoa will go a long way in helping to build a case to stay in the picture in 2021. Dolphins resign linebacker Alandon Roberts. The Miami Dolphins linebacker room was a point of emphasis for general manager Chris Greer in the early portions of the 2021 NFL offseason. The team decided to cut linebacker Kyle Van Noy and subsequently trade for veteran LB Benardrick McKinney, which had many Dolphins fans anticipating that the room will be turned upside down by the time the season starts this fall. And while the room will certainly feature some new faces, it may not be as remodeled as it appeared destined to be at the start of free agency. Jerome Baker will be back in a starring role. Vince Beagle returns for a chance to claim some of Van Noy's reps alongside fellow former Wisconsin Badgers Andrew Van Ginkle. And now the Dolphins have agreed to terms with linebacker Alandon Roberts for a return in 2021. Roberts finished fifth on the 2020 Dolphins in tackles, 61, and third on the team in tackles for loss, 8, despite playing just 39% of the Dolphins' defensive snaps last year. When, when teams tried to run the ball between the tackles on Miami, it was often Roberts who showed up to crash the party in collision backs for minimal gains. Roberts, for all of his appear defending the run, was someone that the Dolphins made a concentrated effort to avoid playing out in space, he did not show a great feel for pass coverage and Miami clearly wanted to avoid charging him with taking those reps often. And, furthermore, Roberts will be returning from a significant right knee injury as well, so while his return is a boost for Miami's continuity, the team may not be done addressing this group before the start of the 2021 season. Look for Miami to potentially target a coverage linebacker in next month's draft. But the team can rest easy knowing that between Roberts and McKinney, the Dolphins will be formidable between the tackles next season.